What's up, worlds? The Seven Worlds Gaming here today, and today I got a video for you that we're gonna go ahead and talk about none other than the Bulletproof UAC and just how to get it and a lot of more information in regards to it because it is one of the new cars and one of the new vehicles in this update. So why not? Let's just go ahead and review a little bit about the UAC Bulletproof. Now, if you are currently playing in Erin Gill, what I highly, highly suggest is go to my YouTube channel because I have a video on how to find the flare gun every single time in this map and i kid you not it is literally every single time so if you want to go ahead and check that out more than likely it will be in the link in the description now that you do have a flare gun and now that you are looking to go ahead and get yourself one of those uac bulletproof cars what you need to go ahead and do is you need to make sure you are outside the zone now you don't necessarily have to be literally in the zone you just have to be outside the white circle so please keep that in mind now once you're outside the white circle go ahead and just shoot up the flare gun but you just might want to go ahead and watch out because something like this might go ahead and happen to you yeah i know <laughs> i honestly didn't know it was gonna go ahead and land there i thought it was gonna land right in front of me so just make sure when you are shooting the flare gun Try to stay far, far away from any trees, any structures, or any buildings because, yeah, you don't want it to end up upside down. Now that you got your bulletproof UAC car and you're more than likely cruising around trying to get your butt to the safe zone because you do not want to end up dying to the play zone. Trust me, it happens sometimes and it's just one of those things that is just not fun to do whatsoever. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit more about this car because I know the name is Bulletproof UAC but it's not necessarily bulletproof even though it is reinforced everything seems to be a little bit reinforced and another thing i want you to go ahead and notice the back wheel it is actually just i would say 25 percent cover so more than likely getting your tires just completely popped by an enemy will be a little bit more difficult and just going back on the vehicle being reinforced as you can see the back window doesn't really have that much reinforcement it does have some little bars here and there so make sure if for some reason somebody's behind you if you are in a very very hot pursuit against somebody else or against the full team make sure you do not get shot from the back because it will be just like a normal car and more than likely you will get absolutely destroyed now if you are in a hot pursuit something you might want to go ahead and keep an eye out on and this is something that i actually do on regular cars sometimes i like to just go ahead and switch seats to the passenger side and start shooting the enemy from my passenger side in this car since there is reinforcement on the windows you are actually not going to be able to shoot out of the car so what you actually want to go ahead and do is make sure you get out of the car and engage them even if you have teammates let them know you have to get out of the car and engage them now the good thing about it is as i mentioned earlier you do have great great cover with those back wheels so if you do get in a serious situation where they got you pinned down which i'm gonna go ahead and show you here in a bit then you have some amazing cover and this car is pretty much just a little tank and in regards to talking about the car being a tank it literally is you can actually take a lot more damage than any other regular car in this car so it will take a lot more bullets than anything else before it gets blown up and i have no idea what that man was doing there what an absolute doofus now let me get back into the car and go ahead and see what kind of action we can get ourselves into and maybe just run a person or two now this is a uac meaning that you are going to be sitting taller than any other vehicle in this game and as you can see right there if you come up against the boat keep in mind that they can actually go under your vehicle just like that and more than likely there's a chance that they could go ahead and flip you over so do me a favor and just stay away from going up against head to head against buggies that way your car doesn't get flipped and you don't end up being stranded in the middle of nowhere another cool thing about this car is that it's so intimidating when you first see it coming because it does have all that reinforcement around it that more than likely if you see anybody they're gonna try to just hide they don't want to really challenge you so that's another really really cool thing about this vehicle and if you can maybe get on a squad and have more than one of these vehicles it is just gonna be absolutely amazing man now hopefully all this information is helpful to you worlds if you guys are enjoying this so far do me a favor make sure you hit that like button and make sure you are subscribed to the youtube channel of pubg mobile and as you can see right here this is a perfect example of how the reinforcement works especially on the front shield 
as I mentioned, not necessarily completely bulletproof, but it does take him a lot more damage to go ahead and start hitting me. Now, once you're in this position right here, on the back window being exposed to your opponent, that's when you might want to go ahead and be careful because more shots will start landing. But it will give you at least some cover where you can need, if you really, really need to heal up, you can actually go ahead and do so take your time and then just pop out like I did there and kill the enemy it doesn't matter if it's just a beginner if it's a bot or if it's an experienced player that will definitely help you out but make sure you do not back into players like I just did there because that human almost killed me and now my car is smoking and just going out base on the cover that this car provides I will highly suggest it to use it as a shield as I'm gonna go ahead and use it right here, especially if you are gonna be engaging against other people. This is a great vehicle for that, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you just some examples of it. The back tire, as I've been mentioning around this whole video, is a great, a great example in that. And if for some reason, you know what, you do end up potatoing, and you end up doing this right here with your vehicle, you find yourself in a position that you maybe you have a sniper going at you. What I would highly suggest is, if the vehicle is at the point where you're not going to be able to go ahead and get it away from there, if you don't have a grenade to actually get the vehicle out of that position, what I would highly suggest then is just blow up your vehicle and use it as cover, especially if there's only seven people left and you think you have the advantage here. Now, as you can see, somebody's rushing at me. Just take some cover behind it in case they do try to run you over. And it's just one of those things that this vehicle just stops being just a vehicle and it also becomes an insane shield for you something that you're not going to be able to do with a motorcycle a buggy or even a regular uac because they will not be as reinforced as this vehicle is so please make sure you go ahead and keep all of that stuff in mind and now if you do find yourself in a position like this keep in mind that the tires will get actually pop as you can see right there all it's gonna go ahead and take is three shots just like any other vehicle so please keep that in mind if you do maybe try to get away your tires might be popped especially if you do have somebody just trying to snipe you down and for some reason my do for self ended up getting on that vehicle now look at the difference right here just it, if i was driving that car <laughs> i would definitely die as we saw earlier somebody was shooting me straight from the front the shots were so hard for them to penetrate my car in comparison to that one right there Luckily for that guy, I do have myself some potato aim, and uh, he got off actually pretty good here. Now, going back to using the car as a shield, keep in mind, if you are obviously going up against somebody that's really good with their aim, as I, it seems to be that I was going up against here, then uh, yeah, you might want to go ahead and just back up a little bit and also look at that back wheel it just gives me so much cover and at this point you might want to just go ahead and blow up the car or just wait for them to blow it up that way you don't accidentally end up being uh you know a uh, victim to cars blowing up which i seem to be a fan of now at this point just start making your way over there this is pretty much go back to the videos that i go ahead and talked about on just how to win the game what to do in certain situations this is pretty much what i go ahead and start doing here trying to figure out where exactly he's at i'm pretty blind too so uh it took me a while to realize where he's at and just start working my way out of here and i do end up working my way out of that the car as i mentioned it is just a little tank it is going to give you so much cover that People are not going to know how to deal with it, especially if they are pretty far away. And I was able to just go ahead and start getting around and make sure I was able to kill the guy. So, yes, I did end up killing the guy and I did end up winning this game. If you enjoyed this video, Worlds, do me a favor. Make sure you hit the like button. If you do have any other questions in regards to this vehicle or just anything in general, let us know in the comments below. I do read the comments here on the PUBG Mobile video and I do make sure I reply as well. And for some reason, that doofus just decided to go ahead and start rushing me. Uh, even though he had the fair advantage on just about anything. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Thank you so much for watching. It's been your boy Decent Worlds Gaming. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, this ending right here, it made me bit my nails. I didn't even know what the heck was going on. Enjoy.